In this video, we are going to explore the top three cities to live and raise a family in in North Texas. So make sure you stick around till the end because you're not going to want to miss this one. My name's Mandy Linthicum. I'm a Fort Worth native and Dallas Fort Worth realtor brokered by HomeSmart. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos about working, playing, and everything that you need to know if you're considering moving to the Lone Star State. If you have kids like myself, I know how difficult it is to try to narrow down the best schools, low crime cities, as well as extracurricular activities that your kids are into, and so many more things. Whether you're moving to a neighboring city or you're moving here from out of state, I know this is a tedious task that can affect your family for years to come. So today, my goal is to try to help you take some of the guesswork out of it and really narrow in on the facts and statistics, while also adding a little bit of my own personal local experience too. Now, with that being said, this top three Fort Worth suburb for families list is 100% my opinion. It is not based on any studies or anything. There are certainly many, many, many more suburbs and cities throughout the Metroplex that would, I would highly recommend for anyone from families to singles to retirees. Every person has extremely different criteria and needs when moving to a new town. So if you are looking for more information on a certain city or you're looking for more recommendations, please shoot me an email. I'm gonna put all of my information below in the description so you can shoot me an email and I would be more than happy to help you any way that I can. Things that I really took into consideration when I moved to a different city two years ago with my family and my husband were one, the schools, the school district and the schools nearby, two, crime and safety, three, the distance to my husband and I's work in close proximity to the highways, four, extracurricular activities for my children, how close they were to our location as well as our church and other community things that we are interested in. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look at each of these things in the first city on my list, which is Colleyville, Texas. Now, Colleyville might just be the nearest and dearest to me on this list because I grew up here and I'm a product of the highly sought out Grapevine Colleyville ISD. I have watched this town go from the small farm town that it once was on the outskirts of Dallas and Fort Worth to the booming high demand luxury suburb that it is today. It was recently rated as the 11th city in Dallas Fort Worth to raise a family and the number two city in Tarrant County to raise a family by niche.com. Location is a huge advantage that Colleyville has on some of its competition. It is located in what is known as the mid cities area, which is a central location between Dallas, Fort Worth and Arlington allowing about 25 minutes to downtown Fort Worth, 30 minutes to downtown Dallas, and about 25 minutes to Arlington. In addition, for those who travel regularly for work or leisure, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump down the road from the DFW International Airport, which is under five miles away. If those facts aren't enough to spark your interest, it's also nestled right in between other smaller hotspot towns like Grapevine, which is also known as the Christmas capital of Texas. Then you have South Lake Texas right down the road, which has endless shopping and dining options of all varieties, and many other small suburb towns are nearby as well. Most of the area is well established with the majority of homes having been built in the 80s and 90s. So there's larger lot sizes than normal here, huge trees and pristine landscaping line the roads, some areas still have farms with horses and cows and other animals grazing as you drive by. The beauty of the city is really hard to beat. In August of 2023, Realtor.com reported that the median home price is $985,800. As the years pass, many of the original small homes have been torn down and replaced with new custom built estates. The city offers a variety of architectural styles from Mediterranean villas to modern mansions and catering to a diverse taste. 
The meticulously designed neighborhoods provide privacy, security, and a sense of exclusivity, creating an atmosphere of luxury and sophistication. Colleyville is part of the Grapevine Colleyville ISD. And according to niche.com, the district holds an A plus rating and the district is home to a total of 21 schools. Many of these schools offer college prep classes like the AVID program, as well as advanced programs like culinary arts, automotive technology and AV production, and many, many more. Now, if public school is not of interest to you, that is okay because there are many private school options nearby such as Colleyville Covenant Christian Academy, Liberty Christian, Holy Trinity, and many more. One thing Colleyville does pretty well is community. From the youth sports programs and facilities to the newly renovated senior center to the also very new Colleyville Recreational Center, the city offers and maintains a great variety of amenities for its residents. In addition, the City of Colleyville, along with the Lions Club and many other local organizations, host frequent car shows, festivals, summer concerts, and even special holiday events throughout the year. Overall, the city sees a limited amount of crime with the overall crime and safety score being a B. As you can see in this chart over here to my right, most of the crime incidents are going to be theft. Okay, it's time to move on to number two on my list, which is Trophy Club, Texas. Trophy Club is nestled in to parts of Denton and Tarrant counties, conveniently located near several major highways, such as Highway 114 and Interstate 35. For those that frequently travel, it is a short 12 miles from the DFW International Airport, the town was voted the number one city to raise a family in Denton County and the number nine city in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's surrounded by many top-rated cities, including Southlake, Westlake, Grapevine, and even the self-proclaimed unique dining capital of Texas, Roanoke. There is an abundance of nearby activities, entertainment, and unique amenities, making it easy to plan a quick day trip or afternoon out with friends and family. One fun fact that many new Texans do not know about this small town is that Trophy Club started out as a rural golf community and over the years has transformed into the first master plan community in Texas with the entire city being built around the one golf course, which was designed by Ben Hogan. While many of the homes were built with the golf course at the center, there's many modern apartments and townhomes, sprawling estates. They can also be found in this community. The scenic views, lush landscaping, and peaceful streets all add to the overall charm and appeal to this town. According to the most recent Zillow report in August of this year, the median home price here is $676,311, with home appreciation continuing upward at 3% year over year, making it an excellent investment for people looking to purchase a home that will maintain its value. Another thing I really love to share about this town is the sense of community that it provides for its residents. There are so many activities and events for families to enjoy throughout the year, including community festivals, movies in the park, and holiday celebrations. During the holidays, you will find neighborhood decorating contests as well as regular parties and events to bring your neighbors together. The town also has a rich history and has several historical landmarks that are worth exploring too. Additionally, there is no shortage at all in youth activities. If you'll go to trophyclub.org, you will find a long list of different youth and adult leagues, aquatics programs, summer camps, as well as city events offered to its residents. With such a close-knit community, it's not shocking at all that Niche.com gave this city an overall A- rating for crime and safety, with the majority of that crime being theft. Lastly, I want to touch on schools. Trophy Club 
feeds into four of the top rated schools in the Northwest ISD. The district received an A plus rating by niche.com and there are several private schools nearby as well, such as Harvest Christian, Fusion Academy, and Grapevine Faith. Additionally, you will find approximately 28 four-year colleges and universities within a 50-mile drive from Trophy Club. Okay, let's move on to my third and final city in the countdown of best places to live and raise a family in Dallas, Fort Worth and that is Keller, Texas. This town is the largest of the three on my list, but it's still known for its charm and being one of the hottest cities in the Metroplex for young professionals and families with the average age of Keller residents being 39 years old, according to its city website. Keller boasts breathtaking natural beauty from lush parks and green spaces to serene lakes and trails, Residents have ample opportunities to enjoy the great outdoors and embrace an active lifestyle. Keller is somewhat centrally located about 18 miles from downtown Fort Worth and 33 miles from downtown Dallas. It sits just off of Interstate 35 and Highway 114 and its neighboring cities are South Lake, Fort Worth, and Roanoke. One of the best aspects of Keller is its strong sense of community. The city hosts many different events throughout the year, and there are many small local boutiques, shopping centers, and boutique art galleries, which is a great way for residents to support local businesses. According to Niche.com, Keller received a B- for overall crime and safety, with 69% of the residents that took their poll saying that they had no concerns and felt very safe in Keller. You can find out more about crime and safety for any of these cities at niche.com as well as citydata.com. Now, if you're looking for a city that is extra focused on its youngest residents, Keller has so many sports and youth programs that there's just too many to list in this video. So check out Keller's city page for all the details and all the different activities that are offered. Keller Independent School District is where most of the school aged children that reside in Keller attend, with a few feeding into the Northwest ISD too. Many of these schools have been recognized as being top schools in the Metroplex as well as the state. According to Niche.com, Keller ISD is highly rated with an overall A rating and it serves over 34,000 students. The very last thing I want to touch on is the real estate market in Keller. Now, as of September of this year, prices were up 6.2% compared to last year, and the median home price is 627,000, according to redfin.com. Most homes in Keller are in well-established neighborhoods built in the 90s to the early 2000s, along with a few new construction neighborhoods to choose from. That wraps up my top three cities in North Texas to move if you are raising a family. Again, these are just my opinion. There's so many great cities in this area to choose from. So if you have questions at all, please check out my email address in the description below as I would love to answer your questions and help you in any way. Until next time, see you later.